Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Upheaval. If you're passionate about the latest advancements in AI and tech, you're in the right place. I'm thrilled to have you here as we delve into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. On this channel, we explore groundbreaking innovations, dissect the intricacies of AI models, and discuss the impact of technology on our lives. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community of curious minds exploring the frontier of AI. I'm excited to embark on this journey with you, so let's dive in together and unravel the mysteries of AI. Welcome aboard! So, Tesla has just unveiled its latest and greatest project, Optimus Gen 2, an AI humanoid robot that looks like a futuristic knight in armor. It has almost human-like hand movements, a lighter weight than its predecessor, and an enhanced walking speed. It also has custom-designed actuators and sensors that allow it to perform complex tasks with ease. Now, to understand the difference between the new Optimus, we need to talk about the original Optimus that Tesla first introduced back in August 2021 at their AI Day. The idea was to make a robot that could do tasks humans don't want to like helping in factories or dealing with dangerous waste. Back then, Optimus looked more like a person in a robot costume than an actual robot. It was rolled out on stage, waved its hand, and did some simple moves. Elon Musk hoped to have a working model by 2022. Since then, Tesla has been busy making Optimus look and act more like a real robot. In September 2022, they showed off two versions of it at their second AI day. One was named Bumblesee, and it walked very carefully, almost like it was trying not to wake someone up. The other was the Optimus we know today. This version of Optimus had smoother, more human-like movements in its hands. It could move its arms and head on its own, but it still couldn't walk alone, so it had to be brought on stage with wheels. Elon Musk mentioned that he hoped to start making these robots for real by 2023. So far, things are looking promising, but there's still a lot we don't know about the final version of Optimus, including how it will manage balance and control, possibly using technology from Tesla's autopilot. We're also curious about its ability to interact with humans and adapt to new environments and tasks. Finally, how Optimus will communicate with other robots or devices remains an intriguing question. But before diving too deep, let's focus on some of the key technical features that make the Optimus Gen 2 really stand out. A major highlight of this robot is its hands. They are built to move in all directions thanks to something called 11 degrees of freedom. This flexibility lets the hands do precise work like picking up items or using tools. What's even more impressive is that these hands can sense touch. They have a special skin-like covering that can bend and stretch without damage. This covering is filled with sensors that can feel pressure, temperature, humidity, and even vibrations, which makes the robot's hands incredibly sensitive and versatile. Now, the new Optimus Gen 2 robot is really advanced with its tactile sensing. This means it can feel things around it in a way no other robot can. Understanding if something is hot, cold, heavy, light, smooth, or rough. This helps it to interact in a more human-like way. What's also impressive is how fast it can walk around 4 miles per hour, and it can move its head and neck by itself, which is great for looking around or talking. Elon Musk says Optimus Gen 2 is smart enough to learn from what happens around it. It can figure out how to use new things, solve problems, or even learn how to chat with new people or animals. But what about the applications of Optimus Gen 2? How will this robot benefit humanity? Well, there are a bunch of ways this robot could be really useful in different areas. First, in manufacturing. Think of Optimus as a helping hand in factories. It could do stuff like lifting heavy things, putting parts together, or checking if things are made right. Basically, it can handle the tough or boring jobs. Then there's construction work. Optimus could be a game changer on building sites, doing heavy lifting, digging or clearing up messes. In our homes or offices, Optimus could make life easier by doing chores or providing services. Imagine it bringing you stuff, cleaning up, or even giving foot massages. In schools or universities, Optimus could step in as a teacher. It could explain difficult topics, show cool experiments, or answer students' questions. For fun. Optimus could be an entertainer in parks or theaters. 
It could play games, crack jokes, or even sing. So that's the scoop on Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 robot. I hope you found this video interesting and learned something. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more great content on AI and robotics. And hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Tesla's humanoid robot. Drop a comment below. And if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.